The Tree of Life is an ancient symbol that represents the entire universe. The concept of the Tree of Life has been used in science, religion, philosophy, mythology, and in other areas. A Tree of Life is a common motif in various world theologies, mythologies, and philosophies. Also, it is a mystical concept alluding to the interconnectedness of all life on our planet and within the universe. The term tree of life may also be used as a synonym for the sacred tree. The tree of knowledge connecting to heaven and to the underworld and the tree of life connecting all forms of creation are both forms of the world tree or the cosmic tree and are portrayed in various religions and philosophies as the same tree. All throughout history are images of the serpent coiling the tree of life throughout ancient Egypt, Armenia, Assyria, Babylon, through the ancient Mayan culture, through the Aztecs, cultures from around the world have all had imagery of the serpent coiling the tree of life. The Bible is very clear and very definitive concerning the serpent's role in the corruption of not only the human race, but the serpent's role in the corruption of heavenly and cosmic events. The Caduceus of Hermes is symbolic of the serpent coiling the tree of life. As many other cultures incorporate the same agenda, the serpent coiling the tree of life represents the serpent's interconnectedness throughout life, throughout theology, mythology, religion, throughout the entire universe. It is a common scene in Christianity, the tree of life being coiled by the serpent, portraying man's descent to the underworld. As Christians, we all look forward to the time mentioned in Revelation 22, where we see the pure river, the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and the Lamb. And in the midst of the street, on either sides of the river, there was the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were healing for all the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Mm -hmm.